What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Distinguished Kicks. This is Sunday. It's Mother's Day. For all your moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Enjoy your enjoy your weekend. This is for you. Now, um, I picked this up from JD Sports. And, uh, yeah, I had, at first I said I wasn't going to do it. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to do a comparison. Um, I do own a pair of the 2012. And uh, they're starting to show his age. Um they're starting to peel apart from the soles. So I decided to get these. I wasn't going to do it, but yeah, I did it. So let me show you this. Air Jordan 4 Retro Black White Tour Yellow, size 12. And when you see this box with the flight and the Jumpman in the middle, you already know. I like the box. It's really nice. Uh, nothing special. It's a little dinged up, but you know. So let's open up the lid. You got the Tory Yellow on the inside of the box. You got your cement paper right here. Um, the bot, the inside bottom part of the box. You got the side panels in white. Let's see right there. It's hard to do it in one hand. And then on the very front bottom part is Tory Yellow. So let's peel peel the paper back. And there you have it. You have the Retro 4 Thunders. Now, if I'm saying the wrong name, please excuse me. It's early in the morning. But these are the Thunders. I do have the Lightnings from uh, 2020. And I might bring those out too. It's just to pull them all out to complete the set. Because I didn't get a chance to get the, the actual pack. Because back then, that was too much. This is kind of clean. This is really clean. Oop, sorry about that. Okay, so let me move the box out the way. Hold on just a second. All right. Now, I want you to tell me on the bottom in the comments, which is the 2012, which is the 2023. Now, I'm going to get up close. I'm going to show you, you know, are there any differences of the two? You probably be able to tell from just looking at this, but there are some subtle differences between the two. So now, if you left a comment below to let me know if the ones on the left or the ones on the right, what year these two are, I'm going to tell you right now, 2012. 23 now the difference the colors let's look at the colors the colors themselves the yellow pops more than the 2012 material the new buck material on this is a lot softer than the 2012 it's there and I keep my shoes in good shape um, you could do this with the materials on this new buck and they don't move as much, but you can really tell the difference. I wish I, way I could tell you. Um, and if you look carefully, you can see how I just changed slightly. And you probably see it a little bit, uh, how the direction of this new buck is moving. There's a lot thicker new buck on here. Now, another thing, too, what I notice is if you look here on the 2012, you can see how the uh, inside lining is showing at the top of the tongue where the 23s, they're not. The flight, Jumpman tag. See how the flight is written? With this one, eh, not as bright. Jumpman himself, not as bright like the 23s are. Um, what else is there? Let me put this one down. Let me take just the right side for both of them. Send it to the side. No, the left, I'm sorry. Now, <clears throat> on the side of this one here, details and stuff, basically the same as the 2012. I am trying to repaint these, uh, so please excuse the mistakes here. Because my tape game is not really that good, so I gotta redo these all over again. Because uh, the problem I'm having is, is that the uh, the bottom of the shoes is detaching from the top of the shoe, so I gotta try to re-glue them. But other than that, 
there's really no difference um, as far as the outside. Let's look at the back. Uh, that clear coat is cracking. Yeah, I tried to preserve it. Anybody out there know how to touch these uh, plastic black tabs up? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Okay, Jumpman, he's more cleaner. Um, this is aged, but I'm sure when I first got him, he was probably the same. But the Jumpman is no different. Um, the bottoms are no different. Although I noticed something, this part right here from the back of the heel to the top of the suede is higher than the 2012, as you can see. The cuts are more, is a lot different. Um, now, another thing, since I got these um, turned to the back, the tongue, the tag on the inside of the Air Jordan is in white, where the Air Jordan right here is in black. Also, if you notice, the tongue is a lot flatter, not as padded as the 2023s. The Jumpman here is white on the insoles, where the Jumpman here, if you can see it real good, I could try to, when it got worn down, it was yellow. Sizing tags are in the same spot, as you see right here, okay? Now let's look on the medial side of the shoe. Still nothing different. Like I said before, the only subtle difference are the side, the tongue itself and the uh, back, the cuts. And I'm looking over here. That cut looks almost the same. Wings and stuff are the same. Now, like I said, the new buck. On the camera, this looks like it's white, but it really is kind of grayish because of the way I to cut it and like I said I clean my shoes all the time and they don't look any different except for this might be a little darker because it's newer and if you also notice what I just noticed look at this the toe box from the bottom from the top of the uh, midsoles all the way up this goes this is more curved up where this one here is not as curved it raises up and stop halfway. So this is like, I don't know if that's like considered like the old school cut, but as you can see, it does go over more than this one do. Now, I'm going to say that to me, I kind of like this one cut better than this one. But, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you notice, the outline of the inner liner is showing through here in the front where the 2012s is all black. The netting is still the same, very hard to grab. This is a lot softer too than this one, but I got the shoehorn in there too. Um, like I say, there are some subtle difference, not as much. I mean, if you throw the shoes on your feet, people are not going to tell the difference. Um, I wasn't tripping about the white stitching on the 23s. I could have lived with it. Um, but still, again, kind of glad it kept it the way it was supposed to be. Sorry, y'all. I had to drink my coffee. It's early in the morning. <laughs> but other than that, like I say... Um, if you have both pair, if you have the 2012s, there is a difference. But you know, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to have a sec extra one on deck, because once these go bad, and I'm gonna tell you, um, it can go bad real, real fast. Because let me see, is this the one? Yeah, this is one. This is what I'm having a problem with, separation right there. So that's why I decided to get a new pair because these are separating. I tried to touch these up, but the fabric material that they use, the new buck material it once the glue gets on it and it peels away it's going to pull the, the material so it doesn't have anything really structurally strong enough to attach the bottom so i'm about to watch a couple of uh videos um john Manolo, if that's his name if pronouncing it right or uh sneakerhead from the bay i have to watch their videos to see how they do it and a few other youtubers out there that could re restore their shoes now let me go get my other pair and I'll put them up here. Hold on a second, okay? Okay. So here you go. 2020, 23, 
2012. I'm going to ask you guys which one of these two you like the most. I like them both, but I kind of, I like the way I did the 23. I mean the 2020. That is clean. Now, if I'm wrong with the years that this came out, let me know. And even with this one here, the tongue itself is padded more. I don't have the reached the 2012 version I bit I guess it came out in 2012 but everything so nice oh the sock lining on both of these the same same materials nothing different but I got the complete set now I'm good with this um, so yeah let me know what you guys think about the comparison between the 23s and the 2012s and even the, let me know what you think about the the, the you know the pair you know um, like I said before, I'm going to end this by saying happy Mother's Day to my mom, my sisters, my wife, my friends, and family members. Love y'all. Um, if you're a mom out there watching my review, happy Mother's Day to you. Now, do me a favor. On the bottom, to let me know you're watching uh, my, review, uh, my reviews and you went all the way through this, give a big shout out at the bottom in the comments saying happy Mother's Day. And let me know what you think about the review. And the shoes let me know what you plan on picking up and uh, i think that's it so like i always say aim for something you're gonna miss everything be safe and blessed out there and uh, enjoy your day and that's it i'm signing off y'all this video is too long as it is peace out